So the other day, put this new, new tensioner on, welded a new tab on the spreader, but my trouble is that this tensioner won't go up and down very far because as you can see, it's pretty much square. So yeah, that was bad on my part. So today we're gonna take it back off and fix it back up the way it should be. One and a half turns on your acetylene and you can open up your oxygen all the way. Gonna light off our acetylene here. Put my eyes on. Get her up to temp. We're just gonna heat this up a little bit. Get her nice and orange so that it'll fix that it'll bend easy. I probably put a little bit too heavy of steel for this pad, but you know, sometimes these things bend and then the tensioner comes off and creates a whole mess. So I figured this time, this is probably the third time I put a new tab on it. I figured this time I'll make it a little heavier so it can't bend so easily under its own pressure. But in turn, you know, that means I gotta heat it up to send it back to its original place. Seem to have lost me. Seem to have lost my pliers here. slides right out so we're going to take these and cut them off with a grinder so that it can swing freely around the around the edge of the uh, tab got our DeWalt cordless grinder here this is an 18 volt grinder but for my father for Christmas I got him one of these adapters actually two of them one of them melted, I think it got a little hot. I was using it excessively on the grinder. Um, so you can put your 20 volt battery into an 18 volt tool. And man, it really woke these tools right up when we did this. So let's get into grinding here. Got my eyes on. Got it cleaned up pretty well here. Got nice rounded corners. We'll see how. All right, gonna throw this back in here. Why don't we throw a little? Why don't we throw a little never seize on that first? Just to give it a little lubrication in there. 
Not that it would get seized up because it's moving all the time, but never hurt anything. Slide drain in, fits like a glove. Alright, now, here comes the trick. We're going to try to pile this back down on there without getting it right against that tensioner so that it can allow it to can allow that tension to spin and I think we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my handy dandy torch here again better heat it up again that'll help us That'll help us shape it and form it so that it does what we want it to. I took a welding class in college, too, actually, and I never realized what, a va what valuable of a tool heat is until I took those classes. I always just, just beat on things with hammers until they came loose. Now, I, heat's about one of the first things I turn to. If any bolts give me a little trouble, I'll heat it up. Nice and warm. Great. Got it all, got it all fixed up in there. All right, let's get the chain and the spring back on. Let's get our torches turned off. I generally like to just let the gas out of the lines because it never stays in there anyway and I keep pressure on things. Right, got our nice greasy oily chain here. All right, and we're back. My phone kept telling me that I'm out of storage. Because, you know, iPhones, they, they give you 128 gigabytes of storage or whatever, but they really only let you use about friggin' 50 gigabytes of that, which is ridiculous. Could be illegal, in my opinion. So, like, <clears throat> like I was saying, my phone kept saying we were running out of storage. Um, we did run out of storage, apparently. Um, but got that situation figured out. Google Photos to the rescue. I deleted about 17 gigabytes worth of photos off of my actual camera roll and put on the Google Photos. So hopefully we'll have that figured out from now on. Um, really appreciate you sticking around for the first Rayfield Farmer vid. Um, we did end up getting the spreader put back together, and then Jose called me on the radio when he started uh, spreading and said, Fail the oh the chain came back off, so what it comes down to is we fix the tensioner. That's okay. 
but we're thinking that the chain has a kink in it. So the, the chain, when it's running, it should run a right, right straight line, but you get one, you get one link that pops off and it just goes all to hell. So, um, yeah, we'll get that figured out another day. Um, we don't have to use a spreader again until Wednesday. Um, so we can use it with one auger too, because that's what we've been doing. So we'll get that figured out another day. Again, appreciate you sticking around for the first video. Um, and we'll see you guys next time.